I think it goes without saying that my channel has dramatically changed since 2014. What used to be a channel that was nothing more than your everyday Let's Play junk has since then taken a turn that nobody, including myself, saw coming. On August 29th, 2015, I released a video out of nowhere called Why I Believe Earthbound is Better Than Earthbound Beginnings. It was about what I still consider to be the best game I've ever played, and mostly how everything, including the gameplay, was better. I then unexpectedly released another video called Triforce Heroes Needs Controllable Bots Badly. And although that was a good video, I sounded like I was possessed by the spirit of a game show host or something. I'm not sure if I did that as a joke or what. But the main point here is that it actually had some good points in it, and I was actually taking some time to describe an alternative solution to the game's issues. And then, after one final update video for 2015, I disappeared for 7 months. I still stuck around, commenting on other videos and everything, but I only went on my channel when a viewer made a comment. I can't lie, given the high hopes I set for my channel, I was a bit ashamed for horribly missing the deadline, but that didn't matter too much after I finally returned back in July to start making some more content. But, I wanted to do something different this time around. The Let's Play thing was done to death, so I needed something new to do, and something far more interesting. Then I looked back and noticed just how much I enjoy making videos solely around talking about video games. And the rest is pretty much history. I made my Project Third Quest video, then my video on defending linear Zelda games, and so on. However, it's pretty noticeable that in the last four months, most of my content has been nothing but controversial topics. There's a good reason for this, but let's back up a bit. You see, during the script writing of defending linear Zelda games, I decided that the best way to inform the viewer is by becoming more critical and analytical within the discussion. This meant getting more specific with details, showing why something is the way it is, and drawing a clear line between good and bad within my subjectivity. Combine all of this with me being dead honest, and you have a formula to potentially create an unpopular slash controversial opinion. However, while I do enjoy making my discussion videos a lot, the controversial ones are far more stressful to work on. I have to make sure that I'm not contradicting myself, and that I'm actually making enough sense to explain why I think otherwise to the popular opinion, as well as preparing myself for any possible arguments against my points. It's hard stuff, and sometimes I feel like I've hit a point where my opinion doesn't have enough details to support it. I'm always wondering, what if a point I brought up is misinformed, or what if I just thought of it the wrong way and it invalidates my entire reasoning? I've hit unfamiliar territory, and if I'm going to be completely honest, it kind of intimidates me. Thankfully, as of late, I'm starting to get far more comfortable within this type, so I'm starting to not worry as much and just boldly state my opinion, knowing that if some points I make are invalid, then it's not the end of the world and I just have to see where I went wrong and move on. Now. Just to be clear, I'm not making these controversial videos as some type of trolling method. If it was, then I would have quickly gotten bored with it back in August. But that's most certainly not the case. Removing most of your bias from a topic is the best way to present your opinion. As we can know that the points you make are legitimate and not just, this is good or bad because I want it to be, or some other irrelevant reasons such as graphics, minus games that look so bad you can't tell what you're doing or its effects are too flashy and obstruct either your attention or your view completely. So of course, when I took away my large bias I used to have for the Zelda series, I started seeing more problems with it. I now look for several things, such as is this part of the gameplay fun, or is this good storytelling, or is this game living up to the standards this series has set. This is why I have the controversial opinions I do about Breath of the Wild, as a survival RPG is not what I know the series as. If the whole survival thing just went away, then the only other thing I'd probably worry about is dungeon progression and maybe make a complaint about the world possibly being too big. But other than that, I'd welcome the game with open arms. So, if I were to give an honest verdict of how far my channel has come regarding these more controversial and unpopular videos I have been making, I'd say I'm happy exactly where I am, and I don't count on stopping this anytime soon.